welcome to Inspirational Transformational TV Show. Amy Whitney here today with my very special guest, Tahira Badra. Tahira shares with us her story of transformation today. She takes us from a place of uh, having lost her power, of having been emotionally and sexually abused for a number of years in her marriage, to where she found belly dance. The way Tahira describes her life when she found belly dance is so beautiful. Tahira now spends her time helping other women connect to themselves through the ancient art of belly dancing. Enjoy the show today. Tahira Bader, welcome to Inspirational Transformational TV Show. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much for asking me. No problem. Now, you have got such an incredible story, um, and there's so many layers to it. So what I want to start with today is if you can just give the audience a bit of background information. Um, basically, what led you up to the point of where you discovered belly dance? Well, belly dancing, um, I realize now I was totally guided to it. I had no idea what belly dancing was. Um, hadn't seen a belly dancer, didn't know. I was looking for exercise. Mm -hmm. I was um, overweight, I was um, unhappy, and I just, I, I saw an ad in the paper. Um, someone had opened a branch from a Toronto school. Um, there was a big school in Toronto, and one of the students had come out to Burlington and opened a branch. And I saw the ad in the paper, and I thought, well, maybe that'll be fun. You know, give it a try. And my mother-in-law had recently um, hired me to be the... Um, had um, maid service, uh, she opened a company, maid service company, and asked me to head their first team and gave me a company car. Mm -hmm. So for the first time in my life, um, I had a car, um, a bit of freedom, and a little bit of money, because I had been in a very, very uh, controlled marriage. Um, over the years, he'd taken away everything, all my friends, my family, he had isolated me from absolutely everything. I was completely brainwashed and didn't even know it. Um, and uh, yeah, I, he'd just taken away my self-esteem. I didn't trust my own thoughts anymore. Um, and having, I think with you know my mother-in-law giving me this opportunity of, of having my own wheels and a little bit of money, um, Seeing that ad, it just drew me, and I thought, oh, yeah, I, I think that might be fun. And the first, the first class, it was, it was the most amazing experience. <laughs> just the music, um, the movements. I it was, I hid in the back of the class, and just was so happy to be there, and couldn't believe the feeling that it gave me. It wasn't, I didn't know what to expect. I had no expectations. Yes. Um, I just. I'd always loved to dance, but not had any real formal training. It was just music, just was fun for me. Mm -hmm. um, and my husband didn't dance, so you know I hadn't danced in years, and um, so and it was something you don't need a partner. And the music just was wonderful, and I couldn't wait all the way home. I was on such a high, and I couldn't wait for the next week, and so it it just started from there. Um, it was they they encouraged me. Uh, to take private lessons um, and was something that was not in my <laughs> never even thought I would ever want to do anything in front of anybody. I was so shy. I was so reserved and afraid to you know do anything mm. wrong or out of the ordinary and um, but i I just knew how much I loved to dance and when they encouraged me to um, to uh, to do my own dance and then actually do it in front of people, that was, that was something that uh, was way out of my, <laughs> my realm of thinking, but I thought, okay, you know, I love it so much, and, and if they think I'm good enough, then, then I'll do it. Um, and it just took over from there. I got, uh, it, I got stronger and stronger, and enjoyed it more and more and just felt felt so alive. I hadn't had feelings in so long and it, it brought up so many wonderful emotions and 
Uh, that's what I find with this dance. The, the music has so many moods in it and you can just lose yourself in it. It's the, it's the best therapy. Uh, you forget everything else. You just enjoy. In the moment. In the moment. And you touched a little bit on, now, your background is you did come from, would you call it an abusive relationship? Yes, very, um, very emotionally and um, sexually abusive. Mm. Um, and it happened so slowly, I didn't even know I was in it. And it's, um, yeah, in that way, it's, it's, people don't realize how you can, be so ruled and controlled mm. and it doesn't show mm. on the outside um, and for me too I, I didn't even realize it myself um, and my my family and my friends were they just dropped by the wayside sort of thing because they thought I was happy or they or he made sure that they didn't have access to me to um, you know to sway me in any other way so he, he made me in the end believe he was the only person I could count on. He used to tell me that, you know, you, you're not going to have anybody else that you can count on. Nobody's ever going to be there for you but me. Mm. And, um, you know, it, it just happened. <laughs> it does. And you mentioned, because you work with women individually now, that, um, that y y you've come across other women in abusive situations. Do you think something like belly dance is something that can help women recognize something like that or Yeah, very heal. much. Yeah. I was I was so surprised to find out how many women had been abused and in abusive relationships. I was always afraid to tell my story about who who cares? Who's who's gonna wanna hear, you know, something like that. You just I, I kept it very very quiet and um but when I started telling my story to a couple of the women they would say, Oh my gosh, I'm going through the same thing or Mm. You, that happened to you. You were, you know, you were like that once, and and it gives them hope that they can get out of it. You, it's there is, you're so much stronger than you know you are. Mm. And when you realize other women are going through things like this, um, they're there to help you, and there is, there's definitely a way out. Mm. Um, you just have to be strong and and confident in yourself, and mm. don't give your power away to someone else. Um, and belly dance, did it, it teach did you it, to... It did it for me completely. Wow. I remember my, my sisters used to, you know, they... There's still so many misconceptions about the dance. There's uh, People just don't realize what it is. Mm -hmm. And my family, my they would roll their eyes and laugh, and they didn't know how to react to it, and they just thought it was my crazy thing that I was off doing. But they always said, you know, it's the best thing that ever happened to you. Yeah. They could see the change in me, um, so it 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 does give women um, all of a sudden it's something they're doing for themselves, and they they begin to feel special, mm -hmm. um, and it it makes them it makes them stronger and gives them a sense of of, of who they are and um, gives them permission to feel things and enjoy things and not worry about other people's opinions. It doesn't matter what other people are saying or thinking about them. They're, because it feels good to them. Um, I've had other women come and say it, it all their lives they've been repressed or they've been told they're, you know, they're too fat or too ugly or too this or too that to, to do anything. Who do you think you are? Mm. And they come and they they all of a sudden they, they feel good about themselves. They feel pretty. They feel they feel they can play, they can dance, they can do whatever they want and it doesn't nobody can tell them, No, you know, you're not supposed to do that. You can't do that. Yes. Um, we just have so much fun in class and, and the women are what's so wonderful, the women in the senior centers that I'm that I'm teaching, you know, a lot of them over the years, you know, they they had their roles and they had to follow all the rules of what their fathers told them to do and what their brothers and what their family and um, society and, you know, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that, you're, you know, whatever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this, all of a sudden, when they, when they start in these um, classes and they start dancing and feeling, they, all of a sudden they, 
they don't listen to anybody else. They <laughs> listen to themselves. It's, Beautiful. This just feels good and I'm going to do it and if you don't like it, too bad. And they blossom. Uh, they blossom. And a lot of them say, oh, they wish they discovered this so many years earlier. I said, well, at least this is a dance you can start at any age. It doesn't matter. And you can feel beautiful mm. um, at any age. And it just keeps getting better. I, hearing you say that, I honestly cannot think of a single woman that would not benefit from that experience. Because like, no matter how beautiful a childhood you had or a beautiful life, I think we're conditioned to be nice girls, to, you know, do all the proper things and to maybe not listen to our intuition or, or tune into ourselves. And so even on a small scale, to have that space where it's just pure expression, you know, of the divine. It's just, I, I, I love your description. Yeah, it's, it's about having fun with yeah. yourself. Yeah. And, um, cause, you know, when you're little, you don't worry about that. You put on music and you dance, you dance around That's and it. you just play and have fun. and Freedom. Yeah, and um, mm. this dance allows women to do that. So how is, where does belly dancing come from? Do you have a bit of background information about the actual art itself? Well, we, you know, we, we well, I personally believe that it's the mother of all dances, um, that we believe it started, I mean, women created the dance uh, in the Middle East. I think that's where civilization started and uh, the dance as civilizations um, spread and, and changed the different cultures. The dance adapted to all the different cultures. The women, it's a dance of life. It's a dance of self-expression. It, it, it was started before there were borders. So Beautiful. we... You know, I don't like to say it started in any one particular country. It, it started, yes. you know, before borders. Yes. And it's, it's a universal dance. And mm -hmm. women, it's, um, it's been used and is still uh, used as preparation for childbirth um, in the Middle East. Really? Uh, yeah. It, a lot of the, you know, the, the belly rolls, the movements, the hip, all these things are, they help to prepare your body for childbirth. And I've had a lot of students that um, have danced during labor to help their labor along, um, and it works. Um, in the Middle East, I understand that in in some uh, places when the woman is in labor, the other women are in the room with them, and they'll play the music and they'll dance in sympathy with her in in labor. And um, yeah, it's 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 a natural woman's dance. It was in the temples. Mm. You're you're dancing to the divine energies um, mm. and all cultures have you know they have their dance they've got rain dance and a, a dance for uh, to, to bring in um, better crops or whatever to connect with nature to connect yes. with with the divine and you dance and that's your connection yes. um, so many so many spiritual dances and I you know to me belly dancing is a is a very spiritual dance and you you get out of it what you put into it, what, you, mm. what your intention is for dancing. Um, like I said, it's the, it's the very best therapy. There's so many different moods in the music. You can just let everything out. You know, it can be soft and slow and just feel. We, dancing with the veils and uh, the slow moves, everything. You just feel every, every inch. And it's just, it, it feels good. You can fly. And then there's the drums. I've always loved drums. So drums yes. are, are, for me, a very, very um, special, important part of the dance. And then you can let everything out there, too. Beautiful. What I love about this dance, you don't need a partner. Yes. Just you and your music. And the freedom that you allow yourself to let go. Mm -hmm. Don't don't hold mm -hmm. back. I always tell the women, don't don't think about what you look like. You know, it's, it's, it's the feelings. Just feel it and mm -hmm. uh, let yourself go and enjoy it. Do you see your, your, do you call them clients, the people who come to your class, or? No. <laughs> um, the dancers that come to your class, do you see a transformation in them? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I call, I guess, I call them my students. Students, they, that's the right word. They call my friends. I yes. guess it's, yeah, uh, we really get to know each other very well and just have a lot of fun together. But I've seen many, many transformations.